Hi everyone, Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies with this week's Trade of the Week video. This is for the week ending May 8th of 2022. The stock was eBay. This happened on Thursday the 5th. It was based on a tier two type of gap entry on a one minute secondary sign of weakness, management advance and reward to risk about 2.5 to one. This week for free members at DTS, we have the bi-weekly scanning night, five o'clock Monday. You'll get your invites if you're a DTS member. It's free to be a member. If you're not a member, get over to the DTS homepage and you'll see places you can sign up to be a free member. Daily chart of eBay, we're gonna gap to right there this particular morning on Thursday. And that's what it'll look like after the day of the gap. That's just what you wanna see, of course. 60 minute chart, you can get a little better view of just where we're gapping to. We're coming right into there, boom. Not a lot to be learned from the 60 minute chart other than what you saw in the daily. So we'll move on to the five. Five minute chart opening right there and the entry is coming on weakness. Now there's a specific reason why it's coming on weakness and not trying to get it off the top up in here. And that's because of the prior two charts. See, so if you look at the daily chart, you recognize that that's a trade that you need to take on weakness, not on the way up. Sometimes you want to take it on the way up. You have to know the difference. So entry on weakness down there under 5090 stop over 5160 trades underway kind of went sideways for a while bothered me a little bit I think the market was dropping and it didn't drop initially but sometimes the gaps just do their own thing you can't get too hung up about what the market's doing during that time 1030 we had a little bounce in there you'll see it on the one minute chart and the 1030 reversal time oftentimes sets the low eBay didn't care this day it kept going took target two there around 1230 or so good exit uh, it went a little bit lower immediately after that and it did close a little bit lower but really got the bulk of the move on eBay and done by 1230. One minute chart gives you a little better view of what's going on. We open right there. Entry came right in there, somewhere in that third minute, I believe it was. And then we have target one and target two off the chart. By the way, I get a question once in a while. These moving averages are just on my chart. Uh, so they just get captured. I don't take them off, but on many trades, the moving averages are completely irrelevant as they are here. These moving averages on the intraday pattern, the one minute chart and the five minute chart mean absolutely positively nothing. They're just there. Even on any chart, the moving average has extremely limited value. On these charts, they're completely worthless. I don't even see them when I look at them, but I don't bother to take them off the chart just in case you're wondering. So they're just there and they make the chart look dirty, but I'm too lazy to take them off. If you like to do trades like this, we focus on the first couple hours of the day in the DTS trading room. If you go to the DTS homepage, disciplinetradingstrategies.com, and look at the trading room letters section in the tab off to the left, you'll see how you can join us in the DTS trading room. Until next time, this is Paul for DTS. Good trading, everybody.